one to one in the series. Who edges ahead here? Oh man, if you're looking at, at the, the, the choice of Albert, right, going for Hayabusa, surely it's great. Like, we're excited to see that. We want to see uh, Albert being activated as an assassin. But man, Atlas, Akai, Lapu Lapu, man, it's difficult to play a squishy hero if you're Arki Hoshi. There's so oh. much control and so much damage that can come out from those heroes. Not only that, Wolf, but with an Atlas across view, when do you usually see no purifies from the other team? Yeah, that, that is could a, be deadly. That is a big observation here. Vin already getting stunned up. I'm surprised that Vin doesn't flicker it out just yet, but yes, there we go. He gets out of the tough situation. And, you know, coming back to that Atlas, I think we've seen many, many times, and in a couple of international competitions last year, that Atlas has really turned over some games in the later stages. Yeah, definitely. And this time you have one, Heavy Spin as well as the Fatal Links. You can, uh, like, switch between the two of what you will use as your first in when it comes to your initiation, right? What do you use first? You can use like Heavy Spin first so that the Atlas will have a better ultimate afterwards or maybe use it afterwards. So the Echo composition is really banking on the damage output of both Farsa and the Bendicuti, and they have the tools to make that work. Well, I think on top of that, you know, if you are playing this Atlas, if Clay can find the death box positioning in the right moment at the right time, then you can use that to your advantage, right? You are now forcing Echo wherever they decide to respond and set up with the Fatal Links, then hey, you can go ahead and set up that box and hopefully profit off of that, especially with Brock here uh, for Vin, right? We've seen it before, it can happen, but right now they've got to kind of check those boxes and with the first turtle of the game coming up, Yaoi's not level 4 yet, so you're going to see this kind of unfold here. Yep, Furious dive coming in from R7. He's right on top of Kaltizi, forcing him to use his ultimate as soon as possible. And even Sanji really high up there with a the Feather Ashtray. Kaltizi all by himself and R7 will find first blood. And here comes Yaoi getting into oh. the middle of it, finds three. But Sanji, oh. oh, he gets one already. Vin is so low, but they cannot get it. And now R7 with a double kill in the bag. Oh, Great exchange from both teams. Echo starting with Sanford poking the Hayabusa, putting him low, forcing the ults, forcing the Quad Shadow. But then again, Echo was forced to utilize Kaltizi's ultimate far too early. The reset was there for RQ. And then, of course, damage coming up from Clay's ultimate afterwards. Fortunately for Echo, they have Yaoi's ultimate available there. He got level four just in time to pop the flicker and the Fatal Links onto three members of RQ. Then Sanji dealing the damage. In the end, though, RQ still gets the turtle. Wait, does he know? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he saw Yaoi actually walk between brush to brush here, but he's gonna open yeah. it up, sees Vin, backs away, Skylar once again just needs to maintain control, but Benny QT has been doing such a oh. good job, he's looking for the trade, and now he might get the solo kill, almost secures it, one more Ooh. auto attack, would have procced, and would have gotten the kill. Great response from Skylar there, not to go down, they don't want to give yeah. that advantage to either of these gold laners, right, they're gonna be battling it out here, and we know, again, how scary carry can be, especially if you get those kills, but Yaoi, Gonna be the focus, gets out of here just fine. Still, again, RQ holding on to a very minuscule gold lead, but I mean, objectively, they're where they wanna be, right? Yeah. Continue this up, farm up, and just keep yeah. responding, putting pressure around the map. And Skyler not flickering that's right at the get go. It allowed him to also force the flicker onto Benicuti. And the reason why he felt very tanky at the field at the end is because of the fact that the outer turret and the shields in the gold lane provide 30% damage reduction. And Skylar forcing another flicker and not dying kind of means that the bottom lane is still equalized. I'm more surprised you weren't freaking out that Sanji was about to die there. <laughs> yeah. he gets, I mean, overall, Albert is putting quite a bit of pressure, and I would argue is even opening up a map to the, open up the map to a certain degree. But let's see down bot side, tier one, the shields are getting farmed off for the time being, but Echo, as we mentioned before, just wants to focus on the farm. Yeah, I'm still wondering too, you know, the fact that there is no purifies here for RQ. If they're just going to completely rely on their reaction time, right, to get out of danger or to have that, uh, basically, I, I like to call it the athletic flicker out of those, <laughs> those bad areas, right? Because, yeah. yes, if oh. Yaoi holds on to it, Oh, wait, Zephyrn, he actually flies clean, he's gonna get this kill, but no, the real one manipulation gives him a shield, he ends up dying regardless. Feathered Airstrike, now putting R7 out of this fight. Black Dragon Form in the middle of it, is oh. he really willing to play with death? Shaw Residue, already propped Sanji for this form, but the back line now in trouble, Kartuzi ends up dying. One Shadow, into the Shadow kill by Albert, he's still alive! Vin, what can he do? Forced the fucker out of there, two for one trade in favor of Echo. Oh, man, Echo. 
that was against Sanford opening up the back lines. Previously, in the first turtle fight, it was against Albert, but this time it was against Clay. Even after the flicker coming out of Clay, we know the one shot potential coming out from the Lapu Lapu that take out the Eve. Eventually, the follow up of Yaoi allowed for Echo to win the battle afterwards. Unfortunately, though, Albert was still very good with the retribution. All right, let's pull this back for a moment here because I'm trying to figure out where Echo is going to eventually plan their attack on their map. It feels like they're playing defensive, right? Yahweh's open up the map. But then, how does Call TZ make this play? Well, I guess that what they are waiting for is to at least equalize when it comes to the turtle fight, then activate Benicuti. So, to answer your question, Later on, around eight minutes time, when you can have Ben Cutie deal the damage with three items, that is where we strike. Until this point, Echo, everybody's just buying time. I'm holding you to that eight minutes on the dot. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see if we'll see if Wolf predicts that correctly, right? And the curse doesn't affect him here. But still, <laughs> going back to the point, I mean, if Benny Cutie can just farm up. Great thing, right? That's exactly what he wants to do. Him and Skylar, same scenario, right? None of them have gone down. You see, though, how much of uh, time is actually put on the gold lane for both these teams. You guys mentioned this in the draft. If you can have someone babysit the lane, great. Now, it's a little bit different because Diggy's not constantly there. But still, even Yaoi's paying attention to that lane. Trying Ooh. to give any upper hand possible to their gold laner is the best thing that could happen for both of these teams because even Yes, there's, what, 200 gold there. It really doesn't mean much for RQ, but they have the objectives, right? If they can get this next turtle in about, what, 10 seconds, then that's great for Albert and the squad can transition into the Lord takes and really set themselves up for success here. Echo, though, knowing all of that, Sanji having two kills early on, the burst damage is going to be there. So as long as RQ can avoid that burst coming out from Echo, Sanford with the setups oh. like this. Oh, I mean, Sanford, he wants it, but the fact is he's got no ult now, and now Albert might have a free kill in his hands. He's walking up, Black Dragon form as well. Wild oh. Punch does connect, but there we go. Albert secures it. R7, now in some trouble. Spartans, he pushes him out of position, and now in a 2v1, R7's lead is just up, but on the bottom side, almost soul kill. Skylar is beating oh, him no. into it, and now Albert is going to secure bait. the kill. Oh, oh he got it. Now that's just disrespectful. Okay. Skylar was just being disrespectful. <laughs> you put respect well, on Benny's name. Skylar, I would have really commended what he did because he painted <laughs> Benny Cutie in there. The TPs were a gold bar, though. Because <laughs> yeah. Benny Cutie you want a TP? did. Yeah. <laughs> if there wasn't any escape anymore. Unfortunately, Skylar, that's a hundred for. He already did a hundred level play, but then he went down because of those TPs. <laughs> However, though, I want to say, Arky Hoshi, great understanding of how to take turtle number three. What they did was to stay in the uh, bottom bush, in a, a right side bush in the middle, I mean. And then uh, it's, it was only R7 who showed himself to Sanford. After Sanford already committed the bravest fighter onto the Yuzhong, that's when they strike. Oh, caught oh, oh, in some okay, trouble okay, now. Okay. Skylar, oh. he lands it. Oh, he's so low, but he's still alive. Sanford with the bravest warrior already in the middle of it. He has to get on out there. Oh. Sanji's trying to help him out, but Yaoi might be able to find two. No, only two as the real one manipulation comes off. They get the kill onto Skylar once again, but they trade the kill back. So that's going to be support for Gold Laner. That's a good trade right here, but still a lot of unfolded there. A lot of ultimates and resources expended, but still RQ holding on to a little bit of lead. 1.6k. Wolf, how's it looking in terms of items? Okay, so we are, we are looking at um, Skyler just picking up the picking up all the important items like Blade of Desert eventually into uh, his second damage item, but he needs a wind of nature. Now, that's also true with this Ben QT um, carry. So far, we know that they wanted to activate it at 8 minutes, what, right? So they did. Yaoi was able to find an opening to the back lines. And that is one thing that RQ should be respecting. Oh, again! And it looks like a repeat of history, but Yaoi this time doesn't even go for that engage. And it feels like to me that Skylar is a little desperate after his I little know. mishap down <laughs> on the know. bottom side. Yeah, he wa I mean, he wants the kill there. He did pick up the Malefic Roar, so that damage is going to be there even more so now. You know, even though he's got the two assists, he wants those kills because he does know as well that Benny Cutie is going to be scaling up, especially past oh. this game. Oh no, Clay, he gets pulled back, but it really doesn't matter. He flickers on backwards. His R7 is there to cover his back. Nicely done. The teamwork from RRQ to deny the initial engage. Great teamwork coming up for RQ, like I said. And this means that they might have the better control of the first lord of the game. What are they doing right now? What they should be doing right now is to control the links first before they engage onto the first lord dance. So they're using Scatter up to the top lane, bottom lane already pushed out. Mid lane should be answered by R7 or maybe Clay in here. Yeah. Okay. 
It's going to be up to how RRQ is going to control this board. Well, let's see how they're going to, because bot side is already stacked up with a full wave. That tier 2 might be in some trouble, and RRQ don't mind leaving this B. Orange buff being taken away by Hayabusa, but the rest of Echo, are they resp how are they responding to it? Tier 2 is already down. They can still let this bleed even more, but now they're going to force the issue. Sanford's walking back into the fight. Conceal coming out from Vin. He's going to take the Yowie. long way around. Yaoi is looking for an opportunity. Albert might be in some trouble. Quad Shadow's out of there, but on the opposite side, here we go. R7 jumping into the middle of that fight. Bravest Warrior forcing Sanford out, but now he flippers right on top of Clay. He's down. Vin QT's in trouble. Skylar might have to take the 1v1. The Quad Shadow's already down, and the Shadow Kill isn't enough. Albert still alive, trying to get on out of there, but Sanford's chasing him down. Dude, Song is dead, and that's going to be a three for nothing trade in favor of Echo. And even the Lord belongs to Echo. What a great play from their side. RQ Hoshi, they tried to go for the conceal play from the model. They wanted to tag Sanford. Unfortunately, that left both Clay and Skylar exposed to Yaoi. Yaoi didn't find the first jump, however. As you saw, RRQ, they still managed to get away from there, but they, uh, their position was already compromised. Alfred was too far when the Lord was put on to low. And you see Echo, despite losing the first three turtles, just controlled the Lord that's much better than they did. RRQ. Not only that, but I mean, even that team fight, you saw how much pressure there was from Echo that Skyler actually didn't have the opportunity to get in the positioning he wanted to. He had the defensive flicker out, and now they're dealing with this siege coming out from Echo. They still have the Lord also on the bottom side to work with. They're gonna lose more turrets here and have to be forced to pretty much defend in their base. Conceal play comes out, just getting a check here. But the big thing for RRQ, they do have play. Their defense, their high ground defense should be pretty good, at least to this point. It's only 12 minutes in the game. Lord is even at half health here. So let's see how this one plays out. Yep, Finn already using his conceal. He's now in he the has bigger. everybody. Oh, well, let's see. He fights one. And now the Feather Airstrike in combination. Petrify off to Benny QT on seven, trying his best. He's in the middle of the fight, but nobody can support him. Albert fights one. Contisi is dead. Whoa. And now they're looking for a second Whoa. as they find the Bravest Warrior next. And now with it all, oh, Albert still lands it. But it's oh. on. No! No! He hit that! Skyler! Skyler! Absolute monster! Snipes it from halfway underneath the inhibitor turret! That is that deserves the Dave Sheesh! Because he has been waiting for that moment in this game. Skyler finally gets it, okay. and that's a massive successful defense from RRQ. This word doesn't exist, but I'm gonna use it. So many sheeshable moments <laughs> out there. As you saw, Yaoi with a jump, right? We saw this as Flicker, but look at that combination of Clay and Vin. Guardian's barrier with a diamond-shaped box, and then eventually Skylar just sniping oh. Ben and Cutie. Oh. My goodness. That oh, was clean. That's the word, sheeshable. Good lord, Scott. Oh man. I don't know. These Beatrix players are, are, are disgustingly good. We're a little too good for my taste here. I want to go back to some of that basic stuff. I feel bad about myself oh my now. Goodness. Well, I mean, at this point, they've turned it around. RQ, they had to defend the high ground. They did. Yes, they lost a couple turrets, but they profited off of it, right? I mean, they have that defense. They get a couple members of Echo down. And now you can see that, right? With that swing, that pendulum swing momentum in their favor. They just have to be cautious with the setups from Yaoi. That's the biggest thing here. The next Lord is going to be up. RQ is in a good position to actually take this one, and Echo knows it. How about that? There's like, uh, there's Sanji and Yaoi up top. Through a bush, you have to be careful about this, and RQ doesn't have vision of that. Skylar already utilizing this uh, this Renner. Just to make sure that they scout out additional members. And I think that RQ has a little bit of uh, the same idea. They want to control the outside bushes, like the Lord Tans. Look at them. The Lord only has two heroes, and everybody's oh. just dispersed. Look oh. at that. They're waiting for that conceal play. They got Benny Cutie there on the top oh. side. Carl TZ still going to bounce this Lord around here keeping everyone RQ on the hunt. They're trying to figure out where the other members are. Lord half health, here comes the conceal. Yep, Yaoi's coming in. R7's already looking to engage. Clay, once again, is this a repeat of history? No, they back off. Now the real one manipulation. Wall charge as well, already hitting two. Falling into Renna's apathy. It's all over now, as now they try to jump in. Sanford turns around, finds Skyline as well as Finn. They Benny. push through. Benny, Benny finds
Johnson again taking out play. A triple kill. Absolutely shredding through them. But now they're chasing them down. How many can they find? Echo is looking for some uh, as much value as possible. Oh. But R7 tries to turn it around, but it doesn't matter. Benny QT hasn't even used his winds of nature and flickers for it. Four for two Ooh. so far. Benny QT. The hurricane of Echo, you saw how it was activated in that fight. They utilized Yaoi as well as Sanji from topside with a concealed play, and it's almost a repeat of history. But then again, after Clay already utilized his ultimate, and then Albert is no longer a threat to the carry, that's when he was able to rise to the occasion. He found three members of RRQ, and the Lordans was perfect from Echo, especially because Call DC won the retribution battle against Albert. My god, that was the disaster for RQ Hoshi because of Benny Cutie's calamity. Not only that, but the fact that they waited patiently for the concealed play, and now it's again RQ on the defense. Yep, Call DC in trouble here. He, oh no, Clay's in trouble. He can't do much about it. He doesn't have any Yowie, of Now he finds it. And now they have a double kill. Sapper cleans it up. They're going to be ending this. Echo takes game number Ooh. three. GG, well played. Benny gets his eyes on the crystal and he doesn't hold back. He goes right for it. Bring an echo to 2 1 in the series. It's match point. Oh, what a game this what is. A game. It's such back and forth. No. Like RRQ break even, then echo break even, and then echo finally put the killing blow in. It's a